Hey, hey guys, welcome. It's uh, it's a beautiful day today. I'll give you a quick look at, uh, if you get the chance, you can pop and have a look at the uh, the beach that we've got through here. It is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, yeah, sort of day we're looking at today. It's pretty cool out there. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd do a bit of a, come down and do some reading and uh, I thought I'd do a quick video. I uh, opened an email from a client today. This client that um, has asked me twice now what I think about retail. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit different to most coaches. I don't actually think retail is worth the effort, which is which is crazy, I know. And uh, I'm probably gonna get panned by an awful lot of people here, but I truly don't believe that it's worth the effort. Um, I think part and parcel of what we teach and what we do and what, what I really feel is true of all the years as a salon owner is the amount of energy and effort that we get to teach our our staff into retailing and to selling because they don't want to sell and no one wants to be sold to. So for us, retail, only comes at part of the client journey. So for us, the client journey uh, as a salon owner is when that client walks through the door or picks up the phone to call you, then we log it in from there. And what we tend to log in is each step that they're in the salon and how we can make this salon better. We call them systems or you can call them whatever you like. But for us, it's the client journey system in the salon. And what we try and figure out is how we can make that journey better. So once they get to roughly about the fourth or fifth um, journey before they leave, which is uh, just as we're finishing up looking after their hair and going towards reception, we have to come up with a, another step that's a bit intangible. It's like what happens once they go home and they get up in the morning the next day. So that's why we sell retail in, in our salon. And that's why we only believe that retail should be for that formula and nothing else. So it should be part and parcel of your client journey um, and it shouldn't really be set at a 10%, 20%, 30% like some people do. And having a benchmark to find out how much your staff care about clients is really key. We collect care factors and try and figure out you know, what is the right figure, should they sell between two or three. You're gonna think that if you want a 30%, which some people do, or even a 20% um, retail, if all your clients are really regular and they come to you and they're rebooked in every five to six weeks, when they come to you the next time, they probably don't need a new shampoo or a new conditioner or a new styling product. So it means you're not going to be able to sell to them. And people who strive and create and want this high retail rate, you usually find that the retention rate isn't so high as well. That's just my experience and it's my opinion. Um, it's just the knowledge that I've accumulated working with different salons. You find that when their retail itself is pretty high, um, the, the retention rate of each each uh, client is pretty low. I'm not sure whether that fact is it's high because they only do one-off clients, or the fact is that they only do clients that come once. Um, so as a be there, I wonder who's going to sting me live on camera, um, but we will find out. So yeah, so for me, it's all about um, the the client journey. Uh, how can we look after that client? How can we make that client feel better? How can we make that client look after her hair? So when we do a good job, um, it looks good for the six weeks that she's not there. If we do a great job and we don't retail, what will happen is, is they'll get up in the morning and they'll think their hair is rubbish and they'll think you're rubbish. And that's the same as if you do massage beauty now, is if you don't give them a follow-up program to do, um, then all you're doing is trying to guarantee your work without knowing what they do at home. So that's retail for me. It's not about pushing, pushing, pushing retail. So in my salon, when I do my targets and my commission, I do not include retail in that. It's just part and parcel of the money they take and I never ever, give a commission based on retail. Because I personally believe that if you do that, you're forcing your client, your staff to sell to their clients, to sell them something they don't need just so they can make that extra money. Well, I don't think there's any need. If you want them to take 4,000 a week or 3,000 a week, why not have it included in retail? Work out your numbers first. Work out what needs to be done. That's what I think. So retail, I'm not all about it. Um, I, I do it for care factor and I track the care factor. I track that the the clients will be able to look after their hair at home. We do that with systems. We do that with looking at my, my team have to say certain things to their clients, make them um, look after their hair at home and show them what to do and how to use the product. But to actually sell the product or actually have a commission based on selling product, that's not what I'm about. I don't think you make that much money out of retail. Some people say that it pays your rent, and yes, it should if you do it properly, but it shouldn't be retail focused, not unless you're in a shopping center and you want to get at least 50 to 60% of your turnover on retail. So there you go, that's Isolan Coaching's, or I should say my personal view, because my other coaches might not believe the same as me, but my I belief is I would rather spend time on getting the services correct, getting the staff trained, and all my energy on other uh, KPI numbers than retail. So there you go. Uh, that's sort of like the answer for me. I don't have a magic answer how I can get there to sell more retail. I don't think you should. I think if your systems are down pat, I think if your systems include the client journey and finding out exactly what they do at home, how to use the product, what benefit is for them, 
I think your retail will sell naturally. And it will do. I mean, I think we never lost less than 10% retail. We have actually my benchmark to keep my staff safe, for, safe from a telling off for me was 5%. Pretty low, actually. Um, but I didn't really care as long as they did enough. As long as they hit a care factor of 2 out of 10, I was really quite happy with that. Uh, and that was about what I expected. Um, didn't expect anything more. Um, and that was all. So there you go. Um, can't help you on how to sell more retail. Um, what I can help you if you want to sell more retail is get your client journey down pat, get exactly what you want them to say and what says it gets a bigger hit. But really, I don't think you should waste much time on retail. I mean, we get people saying, how much commission should you give them? 1%, 2%? I don't really know because, I mean, if I give someone a dollar or $2 from a bottle, it wouldn't encourage me to sell. And the amount of effort that you're going to be pushing, as that be again, the more effort you're going to be pushing them people to do that, I don't think it's worth it. So there you go. Um, that's me logging out. Any more questions, you can email me at richard at isaloncoaching.com or you can message me on Facebook. I'm more than happy to answer your question. Um, and hopefully next week, um, I should be talking to you. Thanks.